Greetings from the Iowa Beef Center. It's February 9th, it's 10 below zero, and it's still bull buying season. Stay with me as I walk you through the genetic tools most valuable when looking for a bull to mate exclusively to heifers. When searching for a calving ease bull, easily the most important column on the paper is calving ease direct EPD. Expressed as a percentage of unassisted births from that bull, you can find this column usually on the far left in front of birth weight. If the catalog you're looking at doesn't have CED as it's often referred to, use the online breed search tool to find the EPDs of the bulls you're interested in. Some CED EPDs are comparable across breeds, but not all. If you're looking for a general rule of thumb, it's safe to keep calving ease EPDs in the double digits, meaning plus 10 or higher. If you do plan to retain daughters from this bull, then calving ease maternal EPD should become much more important. This trait is also referred to as CEM, and it's the ability of the bull's daughters to calve on their own. Keep that number as high as possible. The most general antagonism to calving ease is simple growth and performance. So if your operation retains your own heifers, it might be a good idea to tag the calves of this bull with a different color to keep you from retaining daughters of this bull. Ultra high calving ease bulls sire calves that tend to have smaller pelvises, which can become problematic as those females enter the cow herd. Once you've established the short list of bulls that meet your criteria for calving ease, one of the simplest approaches is to look at dollar indexes if they're available and find the index that most closely fits how you're going to use the bull. Dollar indexes take into account genetic antagonisms between traits and help you avoid pitfalls in your selection process. If dollar indexes are simply unavailable or a more targeted approach is what you're after, consider your market first. For example, if you retain ownership, then carcass traits should become more important. If you sell at weaning, the obvious growth traits should take precedence in your selection process. Finally, phenotype should still be important. Make sure the bull is smooth and flat in his joints, smooth and flat in his shoulder, and moderate in his head size. All these things considered should help you find the bull of your choice at the next sale you attend.